recording uh, Okay, baik Okay So, uh, this topic here is mechanical spring Okay, principally, uh, uh, for the last years uh, This topic is teach by Dr. Sabri uh, 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 he he knows better about mechanical, mechanical springs and this year uh, I'm tasked with teaching this uh, mechanical spring eh? okay uh, so uh, uh, for the benefit of this class uh, I'll, I will uh, teach using, using this uh, uh, textbook okay Me mechanical spring from the chapter 10 from Shigley mechanical engineering design okay so all right all right um okay uh okay shitly mechanical engineering design okay Okay, uh, this is uh, all the topics that we will cover, uh, which is uh, 10 1, stress in a helical spring, curvature effect, deflection of um, helical spring, compression spring, stability, spring material, helical compression spring design for static service, critical frequency of helical spring, fatigue loading, uh, helical compression spring design for fatigue loading, extension spring, helical coil tension spring, uh, valve wheel spring, uh, and machineless spring. Okay. So we'll go to all the examples, uh, and uh, I will use uh, Google, also uh, Google Images to to make it better for your understanding lah about this topic. Okay. So what is a spring? Uh, you, uh, I'm I'm sure everyone know what is a spring. Okay. Sp okay. This is uh, the images of a spring. The typical image of a spring that that uh, you all are familiar with this is uh this is the images uh, of the spring that you are familiar with uh, there are much more uh, uh, division of spring is more than this uh, but uh, we, if we mention about spring we mention uh, about spring everyone can imagine this is the kind of spring that everyone will imagine uh, okay the the coil one okay uh, actually the spring is everything that bouncing is a spring okay everything that bounce is a spring and you can see here uh, after uh, uh, if we go along to with this uh, lecture we will see uh, uh, many definition and many pictures of spring rather than uh, the the helical one like this okay so okay we go to the okay we go to the classroom when a uh, designer wants uh, uh, rigidity like negligible deflection okay it's an acceptable approximation okay okay uh, when designer wants rigidity negligible deflection is an acceptable uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, saya saya tak nampak slide lah doktor nampak background je nampak background Nampak background mana? Ah, ya, Doktor Nampak background belakang tu lah Oh Eh, pasal apa? Ay uh, Oh Saya, saya tengok lah, apa jadi aku ni lah eh? Oh, ok, ok Saya, saya, saya setting balik kot Ada Miss uh, Miss setting Oh, mungkin setting lain eh. Api asp. Ait, pasal apa? Ait, pasal apa? Ait. Ah. Uh, so, tak ada background lah. Okay. Ini ya, eh? uh, ni nampak screen lah eh? uh, uh, Nampak slide lah eh? 
And, nampak dah nampak dah oh oh biasa baik background aku punya oh, tak tahu okey okey thank you thank you bagi tahu saya uh, tak perasan saya, saya tak tahu pula ni <laughs> okey baik um, okey we got, uh, ulang balik lah uh, saya ulang balik lah pada mula okey uh, when we talking about spring eh? okey uh, okey this is all the topics that we cover in in this uh, spring which is a uh, 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 stress in helical spring, curvature effect, deflection of helical spring, compression spring, stability, spring material, helical compression spring, critical frequency of helical spring, fatigue loading, helical compression, extension spring, helical uh, coil tension setting, bell level spring, uh, and machine spring. Okay, insyaAllah within these two weeks, we cover most of the subject lah. But the most important one is the, all the uh, uh, all the uh, upper upper topics, ah. Okay. Okay. When we talking about spring, when we talking about spring, I'm sure everyone uh, can imagine uh, this kind of spring, lah. Okay. This uh, this is the, the spring that everyone imagine, ah. And okay, this is spring that everyone everyone imagine. But actually, the spring uh, is many more, many much more than this, lah. Okay. Uh, everything that bouncing is a spring okay everything uh, real everything that is bouncing can be called a spring okay okay so uh, we'll okay when okay when designer was rigidity in like the deflection is an acceptable approximation as long as it does not compromise function Okay, flexibility uh, come is sometimes need and often provided by metal bodies which cleverly control geometry. This body can exhibit flexibility to degree the designer six. Okay, some flexibility can be linear or non-linear in relating to the deflection of load. This device allow control application of force or torque or controlling and release of energy by another purpose. Okay, flexibility allows temporary distortion for excess and immediate resortion of function. Okay, why is flexibility? How is flexibility related to spring? Okay, because spring is flexible. No, okay, you, you can imagine uh, a spring. Uh, the the term, the meaning of flexible that you can, you can, uh, uh, you can imagine a bounce, uh, bouncing of the spring lah. Right? when you uh, when you compress and when you release your hand, it will come back to its original shape. Uh, the same goes for plastic material, for rubber material. Okay, uh, you you stretch the rubber, uh, it will expand, and then when you release your hand, it will uh, go back to its original shape. Okay, but how about metal? Okay, metal uh, cannot do that. Okay, Met, uh, if you take a shaft, it cannot be, it cannot be flexible. Uh, when you uh, go for torsion, when you go for tensile, tensile uh, strength, when uh, tensile um, action. Okay, you can expand, but steel, metal, wood cannot expand. Okay, but spring can. Okay, spring can. It's the nature of spring. It can flexible. Okay, it can flexible. So this is what mean by flexibility, lah. Gan. Okay, because of machine's value for designer spring has been intensively studied. Moreover, they are mass produced and therefore low cost and ingenious configuration have been found for variety of design application. Okay. This chapter will be discussed more frequently. Use type of spring and necessary parametric relationship and their design. Okay, in general, spring may classify as wire spring, the spring, uh, uh, flat spring or special shape spring, and there are many variation of this version. Okay, wire spring include helical spring, square wire made to resist and deflect under tensile, compressive or torsional load. Flat spring include cantilever, electrical types. Uh, one moto or type. Okay, let us see first. Uh, what is the uh, difference of the kind this kind of spring? Lah. Okay, go for wire spring first. Okay, go for wire spring. This is kind of wire spring. I'm sure uh, every one of you, when we mention about spring, this is the kind of spring that you we, we recognize from our childhood lah. From uh, since we are young. We recognize this is as a spring. 
kan ok and uh, ok uh, helical spring ok this is a helical spring ok this is type of spring is called helical spring uh, ok compressive uh, flat spring is uh, cantilever ok like see cantilever spring ok this is like a cantilever spring you can see here have uh, a cantilever type ok elliptical type spring this is uh, what you find in a car electrical leaf spring electrical leaf spring like this that is why I say everything that bouncing can be called a spring ok wound motor spring ok like this it's it called a wound, wound motor spring uh, clock type power spring like this ok this is clock type what uh, apa clock type power spring okay and flat spring also we known as uh, as a uh, wash flat spring washers and also we know as a bell bellville spring okay known as a bellville spring okay so this is kind of spring that that you are familiar okay so we're talking about spring now we go for the subject okay stress in helical spring okay stress in helical spring in order to make an equation for the spring better we go uh, uh, this designer of all this equation uh, 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 make an assumption on the uh, this type of spring because it is uh, easy to understand this is uh, a spring Okay, everyone understand this uh, kind of feature is called a spring. Okay, so now uh, we make an uh, uh, equation using this kind of spring. Uh. Okay, okay, stress in helical spring now. Okay, so uh, figure 10 1a shows a round, a round wire helical sp compression spring loaded with ideal force F. Okay. We designate D as the mean coil diameter. D, capital D here, capital D here is a mean coil diameter, uh, and D is the wire diameter. Okay, you can see the small D here is a wire diameter. Isolate a section of the spring shown in Figure Ten One B for equilibrium. The isolated section contains a direct of shear force F and torsion moment T equals to F D over two. So T is the torque. Uh, torque is force times radius so for this equation force uh, uh, times diameter over 2 which is mean diameter okay the maximum shear stress in a wire may be computed by superposition of the direct shear stress okay uh, with B equals to F and torsion shear stress given by figure 337 the result is uh, shear stress equals to TR over J J is polar moment of inertia. You remember the subject in solid two, solid mechanic two. Uh, we mentioned uh, in the deflection of beam, uh, mentioned a lot about polar moment of inertia. Okay, and uh, uh, plus F of uh, over A at inside the fiber of the spring, substituent uh, stress equals to uh, uh, stress uh, shear stress T. You can get. Shear stress equal to 8 FD over pi D power of 3 plus 4 F over pi D power of 2. Okay, this is the shear stress of the of the sp uh, spring. Okay, so uh, I note here spring C is the spring index to to make us uh, understand uh, because uh, if you can you can notice the word C. Okay, in uh, last week we talk about uh, belt and pulley okay we talk about belt and pulley you notice the word c in belt and pulley is uh, center distance it is called center distance from two pulleys now 
in this textbook in this topic spring c means spring index so don't be confused so uh, how not to be confused uh, whenever you see an acronym you mention the full name okay like here c spring index equals to uh, mean diameter over wire diameter uh, uh, say like that hopefully in the end you will understand until you understand you you say the full name okay uh, so which is uh, spring index which goes to coil curvature uh, the preferred value of uh, spring index ranges from 4 to 12 okay which in the relation equation b can be arranged by s stress equal to ks at 8 fd over by the power of 3 so ks is the shear stress correction factor defined by equation ks uh, equals to 2 c spring index plus 1 over 2 c which is spring index okay the use of square of square or rectangular wire is not recommended for spring unless space limitation okay what is a square or rectangular wire you see here what is a square or rectangular wire i just google it okay to make you understand okay okay this is a square wire this type of square wire is not recommended for spring for for obvious reason mm. Uh, recommended for spring unless space limitation spring and special what shape are not made in large quantity like those of round wire they have uh, they have not bad not had the benefit of refining development and hence may not be as strong as spring from made from uh, round wire okay when space is severely limited nested round wire spring should always be considered okay ne nested round wire spring should always be considered what is a nested round wire spring okay this is a nested round wire spring okay like this okay when whenever you have a uh, space you see here also called wave spring lah. okay also called wave spring you see here the the size can be reduced for 50 percent and the size can be reduced for 50 percent okay what do you familiar with this okay Nowadays, uh, during this COVID time, everyone promote uh, madu, no? madu honey. Eh? Kan? Okay, everyone promote honey. Uh, the madu, the honeycomb structure is like this. Nah? It's, it's, uh, it's like this. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, now, now uh, during this COVID time, everyone want to take the madu. Okay, the, the honey. You can see the honey structure is like this. Kan? The honeycomb. Kan? Okay, it is more... Uh, uh, powerful lah ok 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 uh, ok so ok the curvature effect ok the curvature effect Okay, equation equation 8 uh, 10 2 is based on wire being straight okay the equation in wire is straight. however however the curvature of wire cause localized increase in stress and in in the surface of the coil which can be counted for with a curvature factor okay so you see here equation 10 2 here wire is straight okay that's why uh, if you are uh, familiar you can uh, uh, with this subject you can see for about, about the shaft and everything uh, everything that is straight the stress is like this equation but spring have curve spring have curve so when spring have curve the area that in curve has uh, of course stress is more on that area okay on the area of the curve e every part of the coil is have curve Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Heavy curvature. Uh, 
this factor can be applied in the same way as stress concentration factor for static loading curvature factor is normally neglected uh, because of any localized yielding leads to localized strain threatening for, for fatigue application uh, curvature factor should be included okay what does it mean what does this sentence mean okay because uh, when uh, curvature factor one you see one part is curve one part is uh, one part is tension one part have stress one part has uh, elongation okay one part is compressed one part is el elongate you can see in the part uh, any part of the spring uh, okay. any part of the spring okay you can see any part of the spring okay you can imagine ah uh, okay this part okay this uh, this uh, this coil uh, this curve part uh, one is in uh, compressed one is in elongation okay elongate okay the the inner part is in compression outer outer part is in elongation so plus minus plus minus will become zero okay will become zero uh, uh is an opposite effect so that is why uh, it can be neglected for static uh, loading but for uh, but but for uh, fatigue it it must be included this factor lah the curvature factor uh, should be included what is mean by fatigue meaning that if uh, that spring is designed for longer period of time uh, for example for your car okay for any part of a car uh, uh, the car operate million kilometer uh, hundred thousand of kilometer and everything so it is expected to become infinite life okay so that's why uh, uh, fatty application must be included to the car okay uh, to the car so that uh, the car can uh, can go for longer lifetime okay, uh, okay. unfortunately it is necessary to find the uh, curvature factor in a roundabout way okay this reason for this published equation uh, also include the effect of direct shear stress suppose ks ks is stress concentration factor okay is replaced by another k factor which correct for both curvature and direction this factor is given by either the equation kw or kb which is kw is wall factor kb is bulk stressor factor you can see the sentences here okay uh, kw is uh, wall factor is uh, 4c uh, minus 1 of c is the spring index uh, okay minus my, uh, over uh, 4c minus 4 plus 0 0.615 over c or uh, burst stressor factor uh, 4c plus 2 over 4c minus 3 okay so uh, the equation differ in order of 1% only 1% okay figure for uh, 10 5 is preferred because what because uh, uh, only you uh, you type only one okay you do, do uh, logic lah the uh, the lesser the equation the better one uh, better to, because we can we can type faster okay so free uh, people use kb lah okay Berg's tracer factor uh, refer kb uh, compared to wall factor because only difference in only one percent not, 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 not much effect lah okay uh, so the curvature uh, correction factor is found to be kc kc is curvature correction factor equals to kb over ks which is kb is uh, kb is Berg stressor factor ks is stress concentration factor so uh, this is the equation 2c uh, uh, 4c plus 2 c is the spring index you can see here and 4c minus 3 to c plus 1 okay uh, always uh, all, always uh, spell the uh, full name okay until you are familiar with it you spell the full name okay now uh, K S K B O K W O K C as simply stress correction factor applied multiplicatively to T R over J as the critical location to estimate a particular stress. There is no stress concentration factor in this book. We will use T over K B eight F D 
pi d kuasa 3 uh, power of 3 to predict the largest shear stress uh, this is the largest shear stress we use this equation lah kan ok so how about the deflection of helical spring ok deflection for helical spring uh, quite easily obtained by using Castigliano theorem ok what is Castigliano theorem do you remember Castigliano theorem have you encountered this Castigliano theorem before have have everyone encountered a Castigliano theorem before no actually you have now actually you have in solid 2 I know in, uh, this in the syllabus in solid 2 kan ok maybe you forgot lah kan I'm, I'm sure because I teach this subject before ok the solid solid mechanic 2 there is a, a on deflection of beam there is a theorem called Castigliano theorem ok Castigliano theorem ok uh, it it is related to the stress on uh, changing stress ok let let me revise ok this is the Castig Lennon theorem on the beam and thrust there is uh, on the beam and thrust uh, ok this is the Castig Lennon theorem for the beam and thrust ok this is the subject that you will learn before in solid mechanic 2 ok uh, ok uh, for Castilian theorem is used for uh, to strain energies and localize uh, location of force to determine deflection allow uh, the, the theorem allow for determining deflection of object with changing cross section area changing cross section area what is the mean by changing cross section area meaning that when you have a shaft with uh, with larger diameter and suddenly you have uh, uh, attach, uh, the attachment of shaft that is a uh, different diameter okay uh, they have the shaft has a ladder uh, ladder uh, okay the shaft has ladder or the shaft has uh, changed in direction and everything that that portion that have changed direction we use caustic leno theorem okay caustic leno theorem okay to st use the straight energy for of location of force okay okay uh, if, uh, 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 Castigliano theorem is uh, teach in solid mechanic 2 if uh, you don't remember uh, just open back the uh, of the textbook on uh, apa? chapter 12 I, I, if I'm not mistaken in chapter 12 in uh, Hibler textbook okay in about Castigliano theorem whether chapter 12 or chapter 14 about about impact lah about spring and index uh, also the Hibler book uh, tell about Castigliano theorem uh, more more uh, more than this textbook lah kan ok ok U is the straight energy uh, U is the TL uh, 2 L over 2G J with G is the modulus of rigidity for those who forget G is the modulus of rigidity J is the polar moment of inertia L is the length ok L is the length of the uh, spring ok so uh, F cos 2 uh, per 2 AG A is the uh, cross section area of the spring ok so substituting all this, all this equation you can get uh, U is the strain energy for the spring you have uh, you have 4 f cos 2 d cos 3 and d cos 4 g okay and this everything uh, just to just to remember you make to you make you remember uh, at, uh, if the equation have uh, power of 4 cos 4 meaning that it is a, a moment of inertia okay moment of inertia now in this case we are talking about polar moment of inertia okay so using caustic linear theorem you have the uh, deflection y give d d u per d f okay you get this uh, when you're talking about uh, deflection caustic theorem if you can remember the chapter 12 in in hebler textbook in chapter 12 in uh, solid mechanic 2 we we talking about deflection of uh, of beams okay deflection of beam we uh, use a lot a lot about uh, uh, we use a lot uh, of uh, derivation df, du, dx, dy and everything lah. so uh, this, this is what you will uh, you will use lah. 
okay d u per d f over equation to equal to eight f d equals to tiga n uh, plus and everything you can get the uh, y okay y deflation y give like this okay eight uh, f d equals to tiga and everything okay you can get the spring rate called the scale of spring rate k uh, equal to f over y and so k uh, equals to d equals to 4 g over 8 d equals to 3 n ok ok deflation of spring eh. uh, displation, de deflation and displacement now uh, the, the the word here use deflation now the word here use deflation why they don't use displacement ok uh, why don't they use displacement you may you may be confused a bit because both thing refer refer to the same thing actually uh, this is a displacement okay this is a displacement displacement meaning that uh, for a spring uh, when you give a force of the spring using the equation for f sama equals to kx f force equal to kx you will it will be displaced or uh, at a certain uh, certain displacement certain length this is called displacement for the deflection deflection uh, we talking about uh, something that is curved something that is a uh, curve that is, uh, that is why because uh, in deflection of a beam okay they use deflection okay they use deflection Okay, here is deflection of beam. This is the difference. Okay, both refer to the same thing. But deflection, this is the term. Uh, how is it related to spring? Because spring nature of spring has curve. Okay, that is why uh, the equation called deflection, not uh, displacement. Okay, it's only a term uh, that people use lah. Okay. So compression of spring. Okay, okay four types uh, of ends generally used for compression of spring illustrated in Figure ten two. Okay. Uh, okay. Let us see first what is the end of spring. Uh, spring. Okay, let me type first. Okay. Okay, this is other spring ends. They have the plane end here, plane end. They have the uh, plane and ground end. Okay, they have the square end, and they have the square and ground ends. Okay. Okay. You can see the difference here. Uh, they have the like this. Okay, they have like this. The plane end like this. The figure like this. This is the uh, plane and ground end. It it, it it cut in half here, and then is this is square end. Uh, it is a square square uh, shape. It's most likely like uh, plane end, but you can see the figure here, and this is the. Uh, uh, Square and ground end. Okay, you can see here the different is the angle of this. Okay, alright. The four type of uh, ends generally used for cooperation uh, is illustrated in Figure ten two. The terminal end for each spring is shown uh, in the right end of spring. A spring with plane end has no unerated 
uninterrupted helicoid the ends of the same if as is the long spring has been cut into a section a spring with flat ends that are square or close is obtained by deforming the end to a zero degree helix angle okay the spring should always be both square and ground for important application because a transfer uh, a better transport of load is obtained okay better transport of load okay should always be square okay uh, table 10 one shows the type of use and effect of the number of coil and the spring length okay note that the gt uh, 10 uh, 0 1 2 and 3 appear in 10 1 are often uh, used without question okay some of these need closer scrutiny or may not be integers depend on spring maker form of ends okay so this is a table 10 1 okay table 10 1 formula for dimensional characteristic of corporation spring they have the uh, term n coil and uh, you see here the word n e is the n of coil uh, total coil free length okay free length l naught l s the solid length okay uh, p is the p lah p okay plane have zero uh, plane and ground uh, uh, represented by number two three and four uh, two one zero one two and two lah and and this is the plane and everything okay uh, some of these need closer scrutiny okay uh, for this uh, for is point out that square and ground and give a solid length ls is solid length of L solid length equals to nt minus a d which is uh, and nt is equal to total uh, length minus a d is the uh, diameter uh, wire diameter where a varies which an average of 0 0.75 so the entry dt in table 10 one may be overstated the way to check this variation is to take the spring from a particular spring maker close the solid and measure the solid height okay another way is to look at the spring and count the wire diameters on the solid stack eh? you can count uh, you can count uh, uh, whenever you have the spring uh, you know what is the you just count the number of spring uh, the number of the uh, uh, wire diameter okay the set removable and operating is a process used in uh, manufacture of corporation spring to induce useful uh, residual stress what are residual stress the stress that uh, leave you are leaving behind okay imagine when you are uh, stepping on uh, a mud okay stamping uh, ada pasal lumpur ke uh, top, uh, or uh, at tepi pantai kan uh, kan kita pijak kita pijak pasal tepi pantai tu tapak kaki kita tinggal kat situ uh, itu residual stress lah kan residual stress lah okay uh, it is done by making uh, the spring longer than needed and then compressing it to the solid height the operation sets the spring to the final required final free length and since the torsional yield strength has been exceed induce uh, residual stress opposite in direction to this uh, induced in service spring to be preset should be designed so that 10 to 30 percent of initial free length is removed during operation the stress at solid height is greater than one uh, point three times the torsional yield strength distortion may occur Okay, this uh, distortion may occur. What happened is this: that uh, you, you can imagine a spring. Okay, okay, okay. This is a distorted spring. Okay, distort. Uh, spring that's being distorted like this okay if the stress is 1.3 times uh, larger than the uh, uh, than it should be it become distort like this okay it distorted thing you have forces act uh, act to restore the spring equilibrium length called restoring forces proportional to the distortion everything this is the uh, this distorted spring Set remo uh, removal increases the strength at, at the spring, uh, so it's especially useful when the spring is used for energy storage purpose. 
However, set removable uh, should not be used when spring is uh, subject to uh, fatigue. Okay. Let me see if I can get. Uh, Now, if you Google uh, about spring energy storage, you can see these uh, pictures. Okay, what are uh, these pictures mean? Uh, okay, they have the uh, they have the energy storage here, lah. Uh, okay, expandable, expandable high pressure storage unit. They have the spring and everything. Okay, meaning that the spring mechanism has energy when it uh, bounces. Okay, it will give some uh, bouncing effect on, on uh, something, lah. Right. This called the energy storage. Okay, this called energy storage. Uh, okay. okay, this stability we chapter in chapter four we learned that the column will buckle when the load inc becomes uh, too large. Okay. Similarly, compression coil spring by buckle when deflection becomes too large. Critical deflection given by equation this equation. Ah. Okay, what is buckling? Uh, I'm sure if you remember in uh, solid mechanics 2, there is a subject uh, called buckling. Lah, kan? A subject is called buckling. Is I'm not mistaken, it's not in the textbook. It's not in mentioned in Hibler, but it's in another... Uh, uh, yes, yes, it's mentioned in Hibler, Hibler textbook in chapter 14 about the impact, okay, uh, about the buckling, okay. When you Google, when you Google buckling in spring, you can see this, uh, these images, ah, okay. This is uh, buckling of a spring, spring being buckling, like this, okay. Uh, okay. So we want to avoid it, ah. Okay. In this textbook, buckling is mentioned in chapter four. In Hebrew textbook, it mentioned in chapter 14. Uh, okay. Uh, you can see the approaches, how how people approach on the subject buckling. Okay. So, we learn uh, column will buckle when the load increase becomes too large. Similarly. Yeah. Ada soalan? Okay. Okay. Uh, the critical deflation is given by equation uh, uh, critical deflation equals to l not okay l not is the uh, what l is the free length free length okay is the free length uh, c1 okay uh, c1 uh, is elastic constant now okay that's why uh, c prime now c prime 1 is elastic constant uh, you, you remember the word C before we use uh, is used in this topic as spring index. Okay, spring index. Now the same uh, word C is used as a elastic constant. Okay, the difference now the difference is the prime. C prime is elastic constant. Okay, so don't be confused. Uh, uh, always, uh, always uh, spell the the full name. Okay. Until you are familiar uh, with these terms, okay. Now the C here is elastic constant, not C equals to spring index, okay. Okay. Uh, so Semenov uh, is state that this question uh, cited by Wall and verified as experimentally by Herring's. The quantity uh, lambda effective in equation ten ten is effective slender slenderness ratio. Is given by equation like this, okay. Uh, lambda efficiency equals to alpha uh, uh, length uh, alpha uh, free length over d the mean diameter, okay. So uh, 
this is the elastic constant defined by equation c prime is elastic constant equals to e uh, over 2 e e is the young modulus okay minus modulus of rigidity and c2 is the 2 pi cos 2 e minus g over 2g plus e uh, equation 10 11 constant the end condition constant alpha and condition constant alpha a is alpha is n condition constant depends upon how the ends of spring are supported table 10 to give value of alpha for usual and condition uh, okay note how closely this label the air condition for columns okay columns columns is uh, it talk about in subject in solid mechanic lah. okay absolute stability occurs in uh, equation 10 10 the term c prime 2 over c uh, over uh, apa, elastic coefficient okay this greater than unity this mean that the condition for absolute stability is at free length uh, is lesser than this equation okay lesser than uh, 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 square root of this equation okay uh, so and condition constant alpha spring is spotted between flat ferrous surface uh, once and uh, if it spotted by a flat surface perpendicular to the axis both and pivoted and this equation offering length okay for steels it turned out to be uh, the free length uh, lesser than 2.63 d over alpha alpha equals to this equation and condition constant okay you take from this uh, table lah kan set from this table table 10 2 Okay, for square gun round end supported uh, between flat ferrous surface alpha equal to 10 uh, 0 0.5 and L not uh, this equation. Uh. Okay. So take 5. Uh, okay, I just want to see this some. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we continue. Okay, we're talking about spring material first. We're talking about spring, spring, spring material. Okay. Now, spring are manufactured either by hot or cold working process, depending on, upon the size of material, the spring index, C, and the properties desired. In general, pre-hardened wire should not be used if D equal uh, over D. Uh, okay. The mean diameter over wire diameter uh, lesser than four. The ratio lah and of and d uh, more than 1.4 inch okay uh, the pre hardened wire lah kan winding or of the spring includes induces residual stress through bending but these are normal in the direction of torsional working stress in a coil spring quite frequently in spring uh, manufacture they are relieved after winding by a mild thermal treatment okay a great variety of springs are available to the designer including plain carbon steel, allo alloy steel and corrosion resisting steel as well as non-forest materials such as phosphor, bronze, spring brass, uh, beryllium copper and various nickel alloy. The kitchen of most commonly used steel will be found in table 10.3. UNS steel listed in appending A should be used in designing hot work, heavy coil spring, 
as well as flat spring leaf spring and torsion bar ok so spring material can be compared by examination of their tensile strength this varies so much with the wire mesh that they cannot be specified until wire size is known ok the material is, is processing also of course an effect on tensile stress uh, and so ten on tensile strength it turns out the graph on tensile strength versus wire diameter is almost a straight line uh, for some material when plotted on log, log paper writing equation this, this line equals uh, to as uh, ultimate tensile strength okay equals to a over dm okay a is the cross section dm is the diameter of the uh, of the wire lah okay diameter of the spring lah okay now uh, okay Ya. Dia nak masuk kat sini adalah Bila dia adalah straight line, straight line ni Dia adalah berkadar langsung lah uh, Kita boleh predict terus Gunakan uh, Menggunakan uh, Equation kerana dia satu straight line Satu satu line straight saja. Okay kita, kita boleh plot graph tu mudah saja kita dapat result dia Okay Berbanding dengan graph uh, kuadra, kuadratik Okay Kalau graph kuadratik ada kuasa 2 kuasa 2 tu Ya agak susah uh, Kita nak predict Although the torsional yield strength is needed to design the spring and to analyze the performance, spring material customarily are tested only for tensile strength, perhaps because it's an easy and economical test to make. Okay, so spring material test for tensile strength. Okay, tensile strength. How to test for tensile strength? Okay, in our lab uh, after this COVID, uh, COVID. Okay, then you all can come back to university. Okay, uh, you could go to the our lab for uh, let they have uh, ultimate uh, test uh, testing machine. Okay, you take a machine. So this machine, uh, you can go. Uh, you can use the tens tensile machine. Okay, you just do the tensile test. You can get the uh, the young modelers and everything. Okay, okay, it is. Uh, this is what they use for uh, to test the string spring material and all other material lah. A very rough estimate of uh, torsional yield strength can be obtained by assuming the tensile strength tensile yield strength is between 60 to 90% of tensile strength and this distortion energy theory can be applied to obtain torsional yield strength okay uh, SSY SSY is tors torsional uh, yield strength okay uh, equals to 0 0.577 uh, yield strength the approach result in the range of this uh, okay 0 0.35 ultimate tensile strength uh, it until 0 0.52 um, ultimate tensile strength for steel okay for wire listed in table 10.5 uh, maximum allowable shear st stress in a spring can be seen in column 3 music wire and hard drawn sp steel spring wire have a low end of range Ultimate tensile, uh, ultim ultim uh, ni, uh, torsional yield strength equals to 0 0.45. Okay, uh, above spring wire CRVA, CRSI, and and other hardened and tempered and low carbon alloy as a group. Okay, uh, as uh, torsional yield strength is more than 0 0.050 uh, ultimate tensile strength. Many non forest materials have a group like this. Okay, in view of this, okay, Jaws uses uses the maximum allowable torsional stress for static application. Okay, now before we go further, we I just Google about the names of this material, the music wire, the oil tapered wire, hot drum wire, chrome vanadium, and chrome silicon. Uh, just uh, to to see what the images of it to make you understand uh, uh, better lah what is a called a music wire spring okay okay this is called music wire spring okay it's called the music wire spring this the spring itself is a small size the emitter is small size it's called the music wire spring okay how about the oil temp tempered wire
Okay, this is the oil tempered wire, uh, meaning that it is embedded, uh, have oil embedded in it. Uh, why? Uh, the reason is to make it harder. Okay, to make it harder. Okay, to make it stronger. Okay, so it can be applied in more uh, better application lah. Okay, because uh, element of oil is embedded because oil is liquid, it can be uh, absorbed in the uh, in the structure of the wire lah. Right. Okay. Hard drawn wire like this. Okay, hard drawn wire. You is is using the extrusion process and breathing. Chrome vanadium spring it's like this crowbar spring and lastly the chrome silicon spring okay this is the chrome silicon spring all right And then you can see the table 10.4 uh, Okay, you can see the table 10.4 uh, Okay, this is the material for music wire The STM, ASTM number, the exponent, the diameter the uh, And all the things related lah. Okay uh, for specific material which have uh, for which you have uh, toxinology information use the table as guide okay this table okay Josh provide set number information in table 10 6 that uh, that uh, toxinal uh, is rank uh, more than 0 0.65 uh, ultimate tensile strength Okay, increases strength through cool work, but at the cost of additional operation by spring maker. Um, sometimes the additional operation can be done by manufacturer during assembly. Some correlation with carbon spill steel spring show that the tensile yield strength of the spring wire in torsion can be estimated from uh, 0.75 UT, lah, ultimate tensile strength. So, see, someone have discussed the problem of allowable strain that show that SY equals to. Uh, uh, stress here stress of all equals to 0 0.56 ultimate tensile strength okay which is close for the value given by jaws for hardened alloy, alloy steel he point out that this value of allowable stress is specified by draft standard uh, of the german republic okay so this is the equation this is the table You, you see, uh, the, this is elastic limit um, for the uh, less limit percent of the ultimate tensile uh, torsion. Okay, elastic limit. What does it mean by this elastic limit and everything? It means that uh, it's only limit to 75 percent. If you can see, the range is only uh, up to 60 percent uh, for most of the range. Lah. Okay, meaning that. If you expand the the spring, if you expand the spring, okay, okay, if you expand the spring, uh, the limitation of it will become uh, only sixty percent. If the, you can go, if you can go further more, the spring will become a straight line. Okay, the will be the spring will become a uh, a straight a straight wire spring. Okay, it it no longer become a spring anymore. It will become a straight line. Okay. Uh, that is why the torsion is only limit to 60% okay if torsion okay do you understand what i mean eh? uh, it, it become a rubber lah kan become a straight line if you can expand the uh, spring as long as that you can lah kan okay so this is the equation uh, this is the example of it example 10 1 okay the uh, helical spring is made uh, of uh, number 16 wi 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 wire 
the outside coil diameter of spring is 7 over 16 inches the ends square are and the the ends are square and they are 12 uh, half inch total turns okay uh, estimate the torsional yield strength of the wire estimate the static load corresponding to the yield strength estimate the scale of the spring estimate the deflection that because the load uh, that caused by the load in the part b estimate the solid strength the solid length of the spring what length should be the spring to be and to ensure when it is compressed solid and then release that will no permanent change in free length given the length found in part b is buckling is a possibility what is the pitch of the body coil okay so the the statement is simple uh, they are ab about to a b c d e f g h question okay can be derived from uh, this simple statement okay so what are the solutions okay for the solution a you have to refer to table a to 8 where y diameter is d equals to 0 0.37 inchi from table 10.4 we find that a equals to 0 to 0 1 okay and m equals to 0 0.145 so therefore the atomic tensile strength is uh, a equal to diameter which is uh, this question you can get 3 to 4 kpsi from table 10 10 6 you can get the uh, ultimate tensile uh, ultimate yield strength equal to 0 0.45 st you can get 146 kpsi okay the means uh, uh, spring Call diameter D equals to Z716. Uh, uh, you can get 0 0.4 inches. So the spring index is C equals to 0 0.4. You can get 10.8 from uh, BD uh, constant for burst, burst stressor. Burst stressor. Okay. Uh, equals to 4C plus 2. You can get the equation uh, 14124 uh, KB. KB is the burst stressor factor. Okay, now rearrange uh, equation 107 replacing uh, shear stress with ultimate tensile uh, uh, strength and so f resulting in f equals to pi d equals to 3 ultimate tensile strength over 8 kbd k, kb equals to uh, bulk stress factor times the diameter so you can get 6.46 pound okay from table 10.1 and A equals to 12.5 minus 2 you can get 12.5 turns okay in table 10.5 G equals to 11.85 mega PSI and the scale of spring is found to be this equation K equals to D equals to 4 uh, uh, G and 8 D equals to 3 and A okay you can get this uh, equation so Y the deflection is F over K okay which is 6.46 over 4.13 4.13 so you can get 1.56 inchi the deflection okay deflection of the of the beam meaning that when the you uh, you put the uh, the load it will deflect about 1.56 inchi okay so from table 10.1 okay you can get the uh, the solid length equals to nt plus 1 d okay so you get to 0 0.5 inchi okay f uh, the the free length l naught uh, equals to y deflection plus solid length okay you can get 2.06 inchi to avoid buckling you can get l naught uh, lesser than 2.63 you can get 2.10 inchi okay that then buckling will not happen so mathematically a free length of 0 0.26 is less than 2.10 inch and buckling is unlikely however for, for me at the end we control how close alpha uh, alpha is n, n factor lah n correction factor uh, it's not mistaken alpha is 0 0.5 so it has to be investigated and on the inside rod or exterior tube may, hole may be needed finally from table 10 1 the pitch of a body coil is p equals to l naught uh, L naught is the free length minus 3D 3D D is the wire diameter over NA so you can get uh, pitch is 0 0.186 inchi uh, that's how you use the uh, solve the equation so you have to practice 
uh, you have to practice this equation uh, you have to practice this question uh, uh, just follow what the number until you understand lah ok ok helical compression string designed for static service ok just a minute Okay. Okay, continue my my lecture. Okay. So helical convection string for design for static service. What is the meaning by static service? Okay. Uh, basically, it means that uh, the thing is not moving yet, lah. Right? The thing is not moving yet. Like for example, your car. Your car is static. Uh, uh, you don't move your car. Okay, the car is in static position. When you, whenever you drive your car, it's in, in dynamic. Okay, it is in dynamic. Okay, uh, meaning that the, all the things are moving lah. Now, it is in static, not moving. Okay, okay. Preparation on the free spring index is uh, C greater than four and less than twelve. Okay, we lower index being more difficult to form because of danger of surface cracking. Okay. Springs uh, with higher index te oh, tending to a tangle because often enough to require individual packing. So, uh, so uh, meaning that when the spring is small, not not smaller. Uh, the meaning that what I mean is that spring is uh, the size, the length, the height is small. The l the height is small. Okay. Uh, surface cracking may may occur meaning that if you compress the spring if you compress the spring spring the spring may break away lah, kan? the spring may break away the spring may may damage everything if, uh, if the the spring index is uh, lower than four lah. okay but if the spring is longer enough okay the height of spring is long okay it may tangle it may tangle okay uh this is what they mean uh, by this statement lah. okay this can be first item uh the can be first item of design assessment the recommended range of active terms is uh, three uh and a uh, uh, lower than 15 to maintain linearity when spring is about to close it is necessary to avoid gradual touching of coils due to non perfect fish a highly coil coil a highly curl coil spring force deflection characteristic is ideally linear practically it is nearly so but not at its end of force deflection curve the spring force is not re reproducible for very small deflection and near closure non linear behavior begins as uh, as the uh, number of titan diminish as coil begin to touch okay Designer confines the spring operating point at the central 75% of equals out the curve of the curve because between no load F equal to zero and closure F equal to FS. Okay, uh, F static lah, F static force lah. Uh, thus, the maximum operating force should be limited to F maximum equal to uh, seven over eight FS. Okay, Def defining the fractional overrun uh, as E epsilon ni, where F S static force equal to plus one 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 plus epsilon uh, F max. It follows then E is the uh, fractional overrun. Okay, force static equals to one plus fractional overrun E F force max equals to one plus 
E reflection of run 7 over 8 FS Okay From the outer equality uh, Fraction of run E equals to 1 over 7 Okay uh, You can get 0 0.143 You can, you take 1.05 1.05 1 It is recommended that uh, The fraction of run E More than 1.015 in addition to relationship and material properties for spring, we now have recommended design condition to follow. Namely, C, the spring index uh, uh, more than 4, lower than 4, 12. Okay, and A, okay, lower than 15, more than 3. Uh, the fractional of run, E, uh, more than 15, uh, more than 0 0.15. And NS is the... Uh, factor of safety at closure lah. The solid high is uh, more than 1.2 Okay Considering the design of spring for a high volume production The figure of merit can be caused of wire from the spring is wound The form we the, the form will be proportional to the relative uh, material cost With density and volume Form equals to negative mat relative material cost Okay uh, gamma pi kosa 2, D kosa 2 And E F uh, D over 4 For comparison between steel The specific height, uh, specific weight Gamma can be omitted Okay Spring design is an open access uh, Open ended process Many decisions uh, be made And many possible solution path As well as solution In the past, in the past charts, monograph And spring design slide rule may be used Okay, now what this you have a uh, computer program like MATLAB and everything okay you have MATLAB you have many many software related lah so no problem you can use them okay uh, so therefore there are always many uh, ways to create a spring design program as they are programmers so we decide uh, okay this book will suggest one possible design approach okay so this is the design strategy to make a spring to design a spring okay make a prior decision with hard drawn steel wire uh, the first choice relative uh, material cost is 0 1.0 choose wire size D with all decision made generate a column of parameters D D C O D outside the meter or in the meter and A and L and not uh, and everything and form by incrementing wire size available we can scan the table of parameters and apply the design recommended by inspection okay after wire size are eliminated choose the spring design with highest figure of merit this will uh, give optimal design despite of the presence of uh, discrete design variable D and the aggregation of equality and equality. Okay. So, column vector of information can be generated by using flowchart dis uh, displayed. Okay. You can see this is static uh, spring design. Choose D, this, uh, which is the wire diameter. Okay. Over the rod, free and in a hole. Okay. You can see this equation uh, a wound or set the rod and everything as wound as set remove as wound or set okay can get uh, the, all this equation that you can get outside the meter KB everything and then you can get the foam uh, this is how you design this is how you design the the spring lah. okay uh, for equation 10.3 T equals to equation like this so uh, S, S, Y equal to N, S equals to K, B uh, everything like alpha equals to S, S, Y over N, S so uh, beta 8 plus uh, 1 plus uh, E epsilon uh, force maximum over 5D also do you can start this too you can find the spring index uh, equals to this equation Okay, it's look hard now. It's look hard, but uh, this is the example related with. You can see this example. You have to use um, uh, some co uh, computer programming, uh, Microsoft Excel. To be exact, it is uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, okay. Um, uh, uh, to solve this, you have to use Microsoft Excel. Okay.
you can see this equation you can see the table here uh, okay if you calculate uh, even if you use uh, a Mathway or Wolfram Alpha you may not get the equation but uh, practice yourself to use the Microsoft Excel okay make the programming using Microsoft Excel okay okay uh, a music wire helical compression spring is needed to support 20 pound load after being compressed 2 inchy because of assembly consideration the solid height cannot exceed 1 inchy and free length cannot be more than 4 inchy design the spring okay you have to design the spring you have the widget wire okay we have the n squared and ground function safety use of design factor at solid height robust reliability use as wound spring okay decision variable 0 0.8 you can get the variable continue with figure 23 everything you can get this equation offset limiter and then repeat the above for other wire limiter and to form a table easily complete with a spreadsheet program meaning that using microsoft excel lah. okay you can get this equation okay now examine the table uh, for adequacy assessment the shading of the table indicates uh, values outside range of recommended or specified values the spring index constraint for uh, uh, okay uh, a c more greater than 4 and less than 12 rules out diameter larger than 0 0.085 inchi okay where is 0 0.05 yeah here okay 0 0.085 the constraint uh, T rules out where wire diameter is less than 0 0.075 inchi. The LS uh, less than 1 constraint rules out diameter less than 0 0.08 inchi. Okay. And then, back in Catalan because the mathematics. Okay, then, and then you get the equation. Lah. Get the answer. Lah. Okay, having designed spring, we will have it. Uh, we will have it made to our specification not necessary the vendors who stock the thousands of music wire compression spring by browsing their catalog you will find several lists that are close to the maximum deflection ok and maximum are listed on different characteristic check to see this allow uh, soliding without damage often it does not spring takes uh, spring rate may may only be close at the very least this situation allow a small number of springs to be ordered of the shelf for testing decision often is the economics of special order versus capability of close mesh again everything okay the spring design is not a close form approach and requires uh, iteration example 10 to provide an iterative approach to spring design okay the spring diameter selection can really be a very an example we first select a value of spring index okay you can get this value I think that's all for the class today uh, because I have to uh, I have not yet studied this this topic yet I have I will study it first uh, and and then discuss with you lah okay so I think I have to stop now lah for this class uh, okay 20, uh, 12 uh, 12 uh, 20 I hope uh, everyone can understand lah just follow uh, the the, my explanation in the in the topic uh, hopefully most of you can understand it eh? so okay eh? the class stop uh, at this time okay are you okay semua everyone okay, okay? So. alright I think that, uh, I have to stop the class now uh,